Number 32. Calculate the rate of heat conduction out of the human body, assuming that the core internal temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and the skin temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. The thickness of the tissues between the internal, I guess, and the skin averages about one centimeter. Uh, and the surface area is 1.4 meters square. All right. So anytime you hear rate of heat conduction, that you must be thinking about this formula over here on the right-hand side. It's a dead giveaway of what formula to use. All right. And this formula basically says here that the rate of heat conduction, which is T over Q. Recall, what am I talking about? I just said T over Q, didn't I? I don't know what's going on. Um, it's Q over T. I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. That's all. Sure. Um, here we have Q over T, and the Q represents energy, the T represents time, so I can kind of re rewrite this as just E over T, and this might look eerily familiar. That is indeed power, okay? So basically, instead of writing Q over T, which might be helpful in some problems, you can simply write this as power equals blah, 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 all right? And if they ask you for the rate of heat conduction, that's literally what they're asking for, power. So this is equal to then the thermal constant multiplied by A multiplied by the temperature difference between the two locations divided by the distance between those two locations. All right, so distance is usually a thickness here. So um, one thing is we gotta look up, right, the K value for tissue and they in the book they just give it for fatty tissue and uh, I'm going to just use that value. They don't give me any more specifics so I can't really get into the details here, uh, nor do I think you may want to. Uh, so the K value is 0.2. The area over which the body is losing heat through conduction, they told us is 1.4 square meters. Just pretend, you know, this was the total surface area, I guess, of the body. I mean, technically, right, you're three-dimensional and you got spherical or cylindrical type of appendages and, tor and torso, right, and head. Uh, so, you know, the whole surface area there of your entire body is uh, included in this value. I just, you know... Can't, can't draw for the life of me, so um, that's what you get. And here's 1.40, all right? And then it's the temperature change. Now, it doesn't matter whether you do the big one minus the small one or the small one minus the big one. The only thing that's different is going to be the sign, okay? But I suggest do the big one minus the small one, just so we don't have to work with negatives, and then just consider what you might be answering at the end of the question, all right? If they're talking about the rate of heat loss from inside to outside, because that's the way the heat will be lost, how did I know that? Well, it's higher temperature here and lower temperature here. Heat always goes from high temperature to low temperature, no matter what. So that being said, I know heat will be lost from the inside and then gained by the outside. So basically the sign, if I had to talk about the rate lost by the body, it would be negative. If I had to talk about the rate gained by the outside, it would be positive. And the only way then we would see the sign is if we switch these values. But, you know, they're just asking calculate the, the rate of heat conduction out of the human body. So I guess, you know, you could probably put it as negative, but sometimes even by saying, you know, it's it, this, is, uh, this is the value leaving the body, you're kind of telling the sign, you're giving the sign, but in words, so you might not need the sign. Anyway, don't, don't, don't worry about the minor details. Make sure you get the major picture here, all right? And then the distance, or the thickness, they told us was one centimeter, so we have to have that in meters, so just divide that by 100, and voila, just calculate now. So it's 0.2 multiplied by 1.4 multiplied by three, then divided by uh, 100. Oh no, excuse me, not divided by 100. Whoa, 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 whoa. One over 100, right? Which that would be essentially the same thing as multiplying by 100. My goodness. 84, okay, 84. So we have 84 watts, or you could have left it as joules per uh, um, second. It doesn't matter. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, two sig figs here. I guess this number has one, so I guess maybe should be technically 80, but, you know, quite honestly, who cares about sig figs? And like I said, you might want to plug in a negative sign there to know, you know, to note that we, it is losing heat. If you didn't put it in, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world if you were to say 80 watts out of body you know either way all right guys thanks for tuning in appreciate it very much hopefully this helps please remember to subscribe we'll see you next time